Hello. Pain management is one of the most important components of patient care, and yet it is often under-recognised and under-treated. This is especially true in children where it can be particularly difficult to assess pain and to choose the right drugs and dosage. Therefore, recognition and alleviation of pain should be a priority for you when treating ill and injured children. This process should start at triage, be monitored during their time in the emergency department and continue when they are transferred to a ward or discharged home. To do this effectively, there are some key actions that you need to take which are in keeping with guidance from the Royal College of Emergency Medicine. All children attending the emergency department with a medical illness should have their vital signs assessed within 15 minutes of arrival or at triage, whichever is earliest. Vital signs include temperature, respiratory rate, heart rate, oxygen saturation, GCS or AVPU score and capillary refill time. Document these in the child's emergency department record. You must identify any abnormalities, respond appropriately and document any action you took. Use the tool adopted by your emergency department to assess the level of pain, such as the Wong Baker Faces Scale or the Universal Pain Assessment Tool. However, always be aware of your own level of experience and the natural influence of stress on both the parent and child when making your assessment. Fifty percent of children with moderate to severe pain should have analgesia within 20 minutes of arrival and by 60 minutes, 98% of children should have received analgesia. In practice, this means that all children in pain should be offered analgesia at triage. This chart provides you with a guide to prescribing simple analgesia in children. For children who are less than one years old, weigh them in kilograms and use their weight to calculate the dose of paracetamol and ibuprofen. For all other children, the chart gives you the recommended dose and volume of analgesia based on the child's age and estimated weight. In many emergency departments, ibuprofen and paracetamol have PGD approval, meaning that nurses can dispense these medications without the need to refer to a doctor. Children in pain should have the effectiveness of their analgesia re-evaluated within 60 minutes of the first dose. Weigh the child as soon as possible, especially if initial drug doses were calculated on an estimated weight. Medically unwell children and those with abnormal vital signs at triage should have their observations repeated within 60 minutes and at regular intervals thereafter. Ensure that suitable analgesia and pain management advice is provided to the parents at discharge or the ward team on transfer. For feverish children, provide oral and written advice to the child's parents. 